Hey everyone, this is the 12th video in the series Let Us Power BI. And in this video, we will talk about the month transforms available with Power Query. I highly recommend that you start from the first uh, video in this playlist and then um, go through it. But then you can also go through this uh, video all by itself and it's a standalone video up to you. So let's start. So I've got the Power BI desktop open here with me and I've created a table called month transform, which essentially, which doesn't contain anything except for, um, let me click on that. So it just contains the dates. And we want to see what are the month transforms available in Power Query specifically. So on the, I'm, on the home tab, I'll go to edit queries and click on the edit queries button. And what it does is it opens the Power Query editor for me. You can see it on the top. And let me again select the month transform table. So I'll create a few duplicates here just to show you the concept. So I'll say duplicate column. Um, so we've got a few columns created. Let's go. Um, so the first transform is you right click on this uh, column and you go to the transform month and you click on month and you can see that it's just showing us that the this is the first month of the year so this is specifically the gregorian calendar and as you go down you can see for february so it's showing us the month month uh, number for, from a gregorian uh, calendar perspective so we'll just rename this And let's uh, right click on this one, the third column. Again, go to transform. And we'll just say start of month. And you can see it's just showing us first of January for all dates January. So you can just say. So I basically just double clicked on, on the top to rename this. Again, the third call, the fourth column, we'll again right click, go transform month and end of month. And I can just say, so we'll again right click on this column, go to transform days in month. So this is January, so it's showing us 31 days. And as we scroll down, Jan, uh, February has got 28 days and so on. So, And the last column, we'll just go to transform again, month and name of month. So as you can see, it's giving us the names of the months as well, January, February. And now I'm happy with this, so I'll just say close and apply. And you can see that this data becomes available to me in uh, Power, uh, Power BI Desktop. So this was a quick uh, overview of the month transforms available in Power Query. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do give me a shout if you uh, want me to take up any anything else or something that uh, you would like explained and subscribe to my channel and if you like the video please do like the video uh, thank you